The Scarlet Knights continue their red hot start to the season, earning a 12 6 win over the Fairfield Stags. Sophomore attacker Jules Henningberg had a big day, scoring four goals and assisting on another. It was a big game for us, you know, coming off 2 0. We just won a couple games and, you know, we had to, we had to learn how to win. So we, we got it done today, and it was a big game for us. May have gotten a piece of it is Baring coming out in front. Oh, Henningberg wow. sticks it to the short corner. Boy, he found that corner. I give a lot of credit to that whole unit, that attack unit with Adam, with Scott. You know, they've really gelled well. They complement each other so well. And uh, I thought they really play and feed off each other. So, uh, you know, it's it's kind of pick your poison. You know, uh, they're all capable of having monster days. You know, Jules had a hell of a day for us today. And, uh, you know, uh, we look forward to that group just getting better as we head into March and continue through the season. Now from goal line extended, it is Bita to the wing. Cheryl Lombidas, and he picks a corner pocket. Uh, all the credit goes to my teammates. Just those one more passes, letting us get open, and got to thank them. Uh, this is a big step for us. We haven't beat Fairfield in the last 10 years, so it's a big win for our program. It was important because Fairfield's a good team. They're well coached. Uh, our staff has a lot of respect for them, and you know, uh, you know, they won the CA regular season championship last year. You know, uh, they've won the last four against Rutgers, uh, so that was the first win for Rutgers against Fairfield. Uh, from uh, since 2004 when Timmy White you know, scored a game winner in triple overtime. So uh, I thought that was a great team win and uh, certainly excited uh, you know, to you know, be 3-0 and in the month of February. And, and now we got to you know, get, head into the month of March and, uh, and get ready for going on the road, focusing on uh, ourselves and getting better. I thought today was a great learning experience with some film stuff that we can share with the guys on Monday with situations that we can probably do a better job of playing out of. But all in all, uh, you know, Great win for the program, and like I said, we haven't beaten Fairfield in 10 years, so we're certainly uh, very proud of the guys today. The Scarlet Knights look to build on their undefeated start as they head to Staten Island this Tuesday to take on Wagner. Reporting from High Point Solution Stadium, I'm Fatima Diallo.